Estonia. The name is Wemsa Mavur, and this is Diamond Media. with a promo code and get a welcome bonus. One expert. Well, we are over one week and still counting out the ongoing All African Games that are being in, held in Ghana. This is the 2023 edition and the 13th edition that is was initially supposed to be held, you know, last year. But due to circumstances beyond control, it has been held this year and this month of March in Ghana. Zambia is among the countries that are participating. And today, we basically focus on how their performance has been over the past few days, as I said, over a week. And the medals that have been minted so far, four in the medal basket for Zambia. While other teams are still minting gold medals. And we take a look at how other teams are looking on the medal bracket, on the medal standing, and as also, how Zambia is looking on the metal bracket and we're going to be talking about that for quite a little bit and that's our focus for today various athletes performed so well and you know they're still building on the performance other athletes just jetted into Ghana yesterday and also we get to look at how they're looking the form as they enter this competition because they're a lot of good, good sides to compete against and also good athletes. This is the creme de la creme of the continent of Africa. And how good is Zambia when pitted against such good sides? We'll get to find out today on the Sports Roundup with one expert. But just before I get into the details of the topic that we'll be taking a look at today of Zambia's performance at the African Games, I want you to remind, I want to remind you of something. And that's basically... You creating an account on one expert because you know once you do that and use the promo code expert FM you get your three hundred percent welcome bonus and that's a huge huge margin it's not a hundred percent but you know you triple that bonus and get yourself three hundred percent welcome bonus only on one expert and once you do that you'll be able to walk away with some good good cash and so don't forget as we start off the show to create that account on one expert and you know. Who knows, you might just walk away with some huge, huge cash. You can place your bet on various leagues, including the local league, the Empton Super League, even going as far as, you know, various continental and international events. Talk about the Premier League. You can place your bet on various teams that you're confident that they might win. And once you do that, you might just walk away with some good, good cash. But thank you so much once again for joining me on the Sports Roundup with one expert. My name is Cosmas Chongo Mulenga. Joining me on the show today is one person who's really followed the African games so much to the call because, you know, he's been one of the people that have been updating the nation on the results that are coming from that end. And this is the media and communications manager for the National Olympic Committee of Zambia, Felix Munika. Felix, thank you so much for joining me today on the Sports Roundup with One Expert. It's so good to have you here. And of course, I can't wait for you to tell me about what you think on Zambia's performance and other countries, how they fared at the African Games. But let me just start off by talking about the leading team at this competition. They blew my mind having over 100 medals at this competition. That's Egypt. What do you think about their performance at this continental event? and discuss what's happening at Africa's biggest multi-sport uh, competition, uh, the Africa Games. And uh, going straight into business, talking about, you know, the, uh, the Arabic nation of Egypt, I think for me that was, you know, to sport and infrastructure and where they go out for competition, be it a, a football competition, basketball competition or handball competition, they perform so good, such that even their clubs, when it comes to continental level, they also dominate. So for me, it was expected, but 
I see them also fighting against South Africa because South Africa also is a powerhouse when it comes, you know, to this multi sports event. So Egypt was expected, but I see South Africa also coming up that table and challenging Egypt. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, but, but when you take a look at the difference in terms of the medals, even before we come to Zambia, you know, Egypt have really performed very well. Uh, a few hours ago, there was, uh, they had 115 medals to their name. You, you don't want to talk about the gold medals because, eish, I was so shocked. Having 65 gold medals, 27 silver and 23 bronze medals. South Africa is getting close because, you know, they're having 22 gold medals, 22 silver medals as well as 33 gold, uh, bronze medals, that is, bringing the total to 27. Do you s somehow feel confident that, you know, Southern Africa has been represented very well? Yeah, I think uh, so far looking at, um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I think only one country has not won a medal from Southern Africa. And of course, South Africa leading, you know, the medal table when it comes to Southern African countries. And uh, adding on Zambia to that list, I think so far, uh, the, uh, the countries are performing well because we have about four or five uh, sports that are yet to be in competition. So also we're expecting something to come from these sports that are yet to be in competition out of um, the 12 sports that uh, countries like Zambia would focus on. So in addition to the other sports like demonstration sports, non-Olympic qualifiers, I think uh, so far Southern African countries are doing well. Yeah. Mm, pretty interesting there. And uh, just before even we get into the details, but I have realized one thing, that is that gold medals are really, really carrying a lot of weight. I think even if a team or a country at large just gets a gold medal, I think they might be on a higher side of the log compared to a team that has gotten a lot of bronze medals. Just to help our viewers understand, how much weight does a gold medal carry compared to a silver medal or even a bronze medal? Because, you know, some of the tallies are on the, on the, on the table right now it might be a little bit confusing because you might find a lot of teams are having a lot of medals uh, in the silver and bronze category. But even a team that has only one gold medal is at least on the higher side of the log. How much weight does a gold medal carry? Yeah, so a gold medal in a competition like the African Games carries the weight of three bronze medals. So if you have uh, three bronze medals compared to one who has uh, one gold medal, the one with the gold medal will rank higher than the country with the three gold medal, uh, bronze medals because one gold medal is equivalent to more than three bronze medals. So that's how the calculations are done. And it's a bit confusing, especially if you are not convinced that with these things. But when, like you've mentioned, if you see countries that have at least two bronze medals compared maybe to a country with one silver medal, that country with one silver medal will even rank higher than the country with two bronze medals. Yeah. Mm, pretty interesting. We, we hope Zambia is able to uh, get more gold medals there. But we started off on a, on a not so much of a good knot, and I say that because we didn't really start off by minting medals. But we saw some gradual improvement as the competition went on. You know, the various athletes improving uh, their, their performance. They went into the semifinals of various, uh, uh, various competitions, going into the finals. But we managed to get a first bronze medal through Mia Piri, and that was in swimming. Uh, just tell me about how her performance has been so far. And uh, I know that uh, it brought a lot of happiness to the country when we saw that first, uh, you know, medal at this edition of the African Games. Yeah. All right. So Mia, Mia Piri is uh, one of the athletes that, you know, have been in recent fine form. I think over the past year or so, she's been performing very well. Coming back from an injury, we made her miss the, the Birmingham Commonwealth Games. But ever since she got back into action, I think if my memory serves me right, she competed at the Region 5 Games in Malawi and she won a cup of medals. Came back, she went to uh, the African Championships, then the World Championships, and now she was competing in the All Africa Games. Looking at how the performance has been over the past few months, I think she deserved to win a medal. She deserves to win that bronze medal, and it came at a time, you know, when Zambia's performance was worrying at the African Games, because we started four or five years, we couldn't record any major victory, and countries like Egypt, South Africa, even our neighbors like Zimbabwe, Botswana, were all, all winning something. At least, uh, Mia Piri decided to, uh, to uh, dead dog, and that came after she qualified to other finals in a, a different uh, uh, you know, uh, events. 
performance. I think the map came at the right time and she deserves it, looking at how the performance has been. Because every time Mia P races, you know that she either sets a new national record or she win a medal. And during the African Games, she managed to do both of that. So I think uh, she, the performance has been very good and she deserves all the praises she's been getting. And we're just waiting to see the best she can give us. Yeah. Tremendous improvement or performance rather that she put up there. But a few weeks ago, just before she came to Ghana, uh, she, she was talking to me on right on the show. And she was telling me about how right. confident she was that she's going to break some records, uh, you know, make some podium finishes and also set some new national records. And it was pretty impressive to see that she managed to live up to those words. And talk to me about how certain uh, you know tournaments that these athletes participate in prior to a certain competition really helps them because i ask that because uh, you know mia piri was just coming from the world aquatic championship where she really performed very well and yeah. after that she then participated yeah. in the african games and she minted zambia's first medal uh, at this edition do you think certain competitions that athletes participate in before a ma another major competition really helped them to perform better yeah, I think, you know, it's, it's very important for us, it's especially us, it's in individual sports like swimming, athletics, you know, boxing, to be in competition or uh, in a preparation mode that gives them an opportunity to compete against athletes. Because, it, you know, it's like you're building momentum to that's very big. So in, if they're in competition mode, their mind is set into competition, they'll be able to perform good. Because it's more like, you know, they're training once uh, they compete, mistakes were made, they will improve on those mistakes in the next competition. So the more they compete, the more they get better. So I think it's it's very important and even for every other sports, if we've noticed teams that have been in camp for a long time or have had a lot of engagements with like friendlies and other competitions as part of their training, they tend to perform well because you know they've been working on their mistakes, they've been seeing opportunities and now they can improve. And I think are competing in various uh, competitions leading up to the African Games contributed to, you know, her performing well at the African Games. Yeah. Mm, I definitely agree with you because uh, the performances that were prior to this tournament I think really helped her to prepare adequately for this continental showpiece. But we still have more athletes that minted a lot of medals and definitely if you want to know them, you need to stick around. But as we go for this break, make sure you create that, a one, that account with one expert and make sure you use the promo code expertfm to get yourself a 300% welcome bonus. So I'll leave you to it, but we'll be right back. with a promo code and get a welcome bonus. One expert. Egypt standing at the top of the log with a medal basket of 115 medals and you know 
South Africa second on the log, Nigeria third, and Algeria are fourth. Zambia is standing at the 15th position, and that's because we have four medals, one gold, and three bronze medals. Earlier, before we came back, or we went for a break rather, and now we're coming back from the break, uh, Felix was just talking about how important certain competitions are when going for a major competition. And you talked about some of the athletes that have been in camp for a long time that have performed very well. And I agree to that because the other person that mentored a bronze, even before the gold, was somebody who's been in camp for a long time. Best in Hungary has been at the High Performance Center for Judo, and this is Simon Zulu. He managed to come out second in Zambia to mint a medal uh, at this edition of the African Games, of the All African Games. And Felix, I know I still have you here. Just Talking about or emphasizing your point on, you know, how important certain camps are and even events, Simon Zulu came through for Zambia, recording the second medal for uh, the country, and that was a bronze. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, for Simon, uh, we're talking about Simon right now, it's a very special case for us as a country because Simon is one of the athletes that are based out of the country, you know. He's been competing in Europe, I think, for the past one year. He's been to the to 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 the Commonwealth Games. He's been touring Africa over the past year. I think he went to five or six competitions around Africa. You know, winning bronze medals, winning silver medals, and winning gold medals. So, like we mentioned uh, with the situation with Miapi, it's also the same situation with Zulu. They've been uh, going through a lot of competition across Africa. And then they go back to Hungary where they're based. They compete in European competitions and they are able to win medals. They come back to Africa's premier event, those, that's uh, the African Games, and yes, they give us results. I know for, for him on a personal level, he would have uh, targeted maybe a gold, but you know, he managed to get a bronze at this level. And he still has more years and more competitions coming because Simon is only in his early 20s. And for Sports like judo is a very young athlete when it comes to sports like judo. So he has a very bright future uh, before him. And I think he did as proud with that of uh, bronze medal. Because if you uh, are Cosmos, Simon became the first you know, judoka since Maputo 2011 to win a bronze medal at the Africa Games. So we've missed about three or four editions as a country where we have not managed to win any medal. And Simon managed to break the, that deadlock and also make history for Zambia after winning that bronze medal in Ghana. It was a very exciting moment to always see, you know, uh, the, the medal basket just increasing in number. But talking about mm. the moment when we had that the gold is also in the basket for Zambia. Stephen Mungandu came through for Zambia, minting a gold medal. And just before I talk about Stephen, it, it's pretty interesting because, you know, I had conversations with all these athletes that have minted medals at these competitions right on the show before the African Games. For, uh, for Simon, he was actually aiming to be the first judoka uh, in Zambia to win a gold medal. That has never happened before until this time that we got a gold medal. Unfortunately, he settled for a bronze, but his friend who has been camping with him in Hungary for the longest time at the High Performance Center, Stephen Mungandu, came through and said, bro, I got you and managed to mint that gold medal. Talk to me about his performance in that fight and just how, man how he managed to mint that gold. Yeah, so I think uh, one thing uh, all the three athletes that have won medals have in common is that uh, they are on what we call an IOC uh, scholarship to prepare for Olympic Games. That's why uh, Simon and um, Stephen are based in Hungary because it's a, you know, a shared uh, 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 a combined effort between the National Olympic Committee of Zambia and the Judo Association of Zambia, international mother bodies, to come to these athletes that are scholarship in Europe. And also, my peer who receives uh, some uh, uh, some monies in terms of scholarship to help her, you know, travel for various competition. And for us, the target is that once these athletes are on such a scholarship, they should be able to produce results. And these are the results that we're getting now. Stephen has been one of uh, the athletes that have been consistent and determined when it comes to Zambian athletes. Because, you know, he's been to the Olympic Games in uh, 2021. He was eliminated in the round of 32. He didn't give up. He went to the World Championships. He was eliminated in the round of 32. He didn't give up. He went to the Commonwealth Games. Same story was eliminated. But ever since he moves to Hungary, 
you can tell that things have changed, his performance has improved and he's been able to win, you know, uh, medals in competitions he has competed in over the past one year. And I think for, for what he has been doing, how much thought he has been putting in, and he doesn't deserve anything less than a gold medal. And we saw how he fought so hard to win that medal. And I think for me, it was personal and it was emotional because, you know, like we, we work around with these athletes and we see the things that they go through. And looking at the hard work they put in, they he managed to win a gold medal. The first gold medal we've won at the African Games this year. And of course, the first gold medal judo as a federation as a sport in zambia has ever won in their history so you know these guys have have brought a lot of um, you know excitement for us and are optimistic about what the other athletes will do in the other sports that are remaining because these guys came in at a time when zambia wasn't performing so well because we had about three or four sports that were already eliminated and people are losing hope but when the mayor recorded our first bronze medal simon came in with another bronze medal Steven came in with a gold. So I think um, looking at the hard work and the efforts that have been put in, these results were expected and they shouldn't be a surprise because of the investment that has been put in when you look at these three athletes. Yeah, that's what I can say for now. It's all about the practice that people usually don't see. And, uh, you know, it shows on the results that, you know, are public. And I think that's the case of Steven Mongandu. And later on, just... A little bit after, a little bit of time after we got the gold, another medal was in the basket. This was a bronze medal from once again Mia Piri. And this was a second bronze medal at this competition. Pretty interesting to see that she managed to get another gold, uh, another medal, not a gold, but a bronze this time still uh, at the competition. And this wasn't a different, uh, you know, style of swimming. And just to talk to me about, the, you know, the difference in the styles, but also her still managing to also still break a record. Yeah. So I think um, the first, uh, we call them events, swimming events. So the first event she won um, the bronze medal in was at the backstroke, you know, the one where you swim with the bat in the water. Then the, the most recent was the freestyle. Uh, swimming event where she won at the we seem to might have lost you there due to network connectivity problems there but uh, we'll continue with the conversation to talk about the medals that are yet to be minted by other athletes at the African Games after this break Welcome bonus, one expert. Well, the topic is about the ongoing African Games. Pretty exciting results that are coming from Ghana for Zambia. They performed, you know, a little bit well. They keep on improving each and every day. And it started off not a, on a very good note, but at least as days went by, we saw the Zambian team and various sports codes still minting medals. Standing 15th on the log and with four medals in the medal basket, 
I think we still have hope that uh, the team is really going to, you know, bring up some really good performances. But earlier, we we're talking about the medals that were minted. NOCZ president and SG, uh, that is Mr. Uh, Foloko, that's a president, and Mr. Kambi Kambi, uh, both in Ghana. And they were simply just taking pictures with some of the athletes, especially uh, Stephen Mungandu, who was presented the gold medal by the president for the National Olympic Committee of Zambia. That's Mr. Alfred Foloko, who's also the president for the Judo uh, Federation. And it must have been a very, very proud moment for him. And we just can't wait to see how the other teams are also going to perform. But, you know, what's interesting about this is for the past few days, we've seen the gradual improvement of the team. And we just expect nothing more or nothing less, rather, uh, from the teams. And uh, just earlier, the athletics team actually traveled to Ghana a few days, uh, those yesterday, and we expect them to really put up a performance. In picture that you're seeing is Muzala Samukonga, the 2022 Commonwealth Game uh, champion. And, uh, you know, a very good performance is expected of him. I should say that because, you know, he's carrying the Zambian flag so high. So many expectations, and we can just wish him the best as he comes uh, into that track and field, you know, track uh, rest. That is, not field, but track rest. Uh, Mozilla Samkonga there, Rodan Jovo, is also among the athletics team members that are tra that traveled for the All African Games. She's in the middle there, if you can see very clearly. But we still have head coach, uh, Douglas Kalembo, for the team. And uh, we can't just wait to see what he has in store for the nation this time. A very interesting journey that he has and uh, you know how he's wanted to really just give back to the country a good number of years that he really performed on the track also bringing some medals for the country and this time he's doing it through his athlete Mozilla Samkonga and this time he has a chance to bring even more medals for the country at large through all the athletes that you're able to see Nede Mingilishi is among the uh, you know the athletes that are still supposed to really perform very well expected to perform very well that is in the athletics team we still have a lot more more athletes that are expected to perform so well. Mwemba, Revival Mwinga is among the athletes in the picture. Abigail Sapiso, Edna Nandula, and Justice Mutapa Chivwamba is also among the uh, athletes that are expected to perform. Also, the coaches, apart from Douglas Kalembo, we have Kazias Nyendwa, John Chaza Chizu, as well as Maureen Kolomwe. Uh, very huge expectations for the country at large. Some of the sports scores really bowed out without a medal. Tipo Tennis is among the, team, uh, the teams or the sports scores that really just bowed out without a medal. Uh, badminton, too. They had a very bad day at the office, or bad days at the office, I should say. But tough luck to the teams. We still encourage them to, st uh, to still keep on performing, uh, still keep on practicing because, you know, practice makes progress. And uh, next time, who knows, I might just mint more medals. But... The athletics team is going to be in action from the 18th to the 23rd of March 2023. Huge expectations are said and due to the performance that have displayed in the past games, Okama's meet was one of the performances they had to prepare for this All African Games. They expected to really perform very well. But for now, that's where we ended. My guest was Felix Muniga. That's the uh, media and communications manager for the National Olympic Committee of Zambia talking to us about what he really thinks on the performances that have been recorded so far and what the National Olympic Committee of Zambia really makes of the performance so far. Four medals, three bronze and one gold. All the best in Zambia as they wait to perform in the rest of the sports scores and competitions that are remaining at the African Games. For now... I live it here. My name is Cosmos Chongo Malenga. Cast the show every Thursday at 18 hours. Don't forget that definitely you're able to uh, place your bets on 1xbet. And that's because you can create your account using the promo code ExpertFM, getting yourself the 300% welcome bonus. And definitely can do that just by registering your account. Go on the website www.1xbet.co.zm, create that account, register it, and ensure that you start placing your bets. A welcome bonus of 300% is pretty huge. And so you can walk away with, with some good, good cash. And so it's everything that you expect on when it comes to sport right here on the show sports roundup with one expert i just can't stop wishing the zambian team so well egypt is really doing well over 100 medals 115 to be specific nigeria also still performing very well algeria 
also performing very well. South Africa, our neighbors, at least they're also still flying. The Southern African side, uh, you know, making them proud and also just leading, uh, just also leading the Southern African side. That's second on the log, second from Egypt. We expect nothing less from the Zambian team also. Four medals. There might not be enough, but, you know, they can still add more. We expect a lot more still. Nothing from chess, nothing from, you know, other sports scores. But athletics also still have a chance and stand a chance to really, really perform very well. So it's all the best to the teams that traveled yesterday. All the best to the teams that still are competing in the African games that went earlier on. We expect nothing but the best to the coaches as well. It's been a good job for those that have managed to mint some medals through athletes and also a good job to the athletes themselves that managed to bring the medals to the country. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Cosmos Chongo Malenga. See you next time. with a promo code and get a welcome bonus. One expert.